Hello, Drake Hawkins, musically optimistic here, and today I am reviewing this Scuba Diver EP Nation. Longtime viewers of the channel and Scuba Diver fans alike will both know that I review his Godspeed 2 album uh, when it came out. And as both of you may know, I did not really like that album. And I still don't, given its place on my worst albums of 2022 list. I didn't really care for what Scuba Diver was doing on that project, as I felt what he was doing was very nondescript vocally. I could not pick him out of a lineup if I heard him on a track. Lyrically, he was not really up to snuff. If you remember my whole rant about him saying, cut off all the dicks in my life like a vasectomy. That line still pisses me off. And instrumentally, I felt like he was just ripping off Tyler, the creator, and the dude who made Graduation or whatever. And it all just kind of came together to make this experience that I wasn't exactly too fond of. Uh, and so it took me a while to get around to the CP. Fans of his let me know that this dropped not long after it came out because they said, hey, you'd probably like this. Uh, it's a lot more... Good. <laughs> of course, I didn't really believe them. Because why would I? Why would I believe that someone who made one of the cringiest rap albums in a while, uh, why would I believe that they would just make a full 180 and make like one of the best albums of the decade, period? <laughs> or maybe he just knocks off Tyler the Creator so much to the point where he does a whole 180 like Wolf to Flower Boy. To be fair, I haven't actually listened to Wolf, so I, I just know he was character. And recently, I finally decided I am going to listen to this project, give it a fair shake, g g g let me see what these four tracks have to offer. And so, this is Nation, an EP from rapper, producer, engineer, I don't know if he's a multi-instrumentalist, I was gonna say multi-instrumentalist, hell, I don't even know if he plays any instruments. Now, like, you need to, this isn't the 50s where, oh, this isn't real music, yeah, fuck you. This is a short, concise four tracks, 15 minutes in length, and honestly, it's an experience that kind of zooms by. Starting with our intro track, The View, it's one of the more rap-centric ones here, with the momentum starting the second the track does. Kicking the entire project off with the cringiest line here, I'm inspirational, just ask the people I inspire. Luckily, it doesn't get worse than this lyrically. <laughs> It has him going over this pretty simple acoustic guitar based beat uh, and it has a switch up around the 50 second mark where the instrumental switches up, it gets a little dense, gets a little flute over it and then he starts singing the chorus or whatever. I've never really been the biggest fan of Scuba Diver's singing, however, it does seem a bit better here and even the verse at the beginning is decent enough vocally, I feel like he's coming into his own here. However, I'm not the biggest fan of the mix on these vocals because throughout the entire EP it feels like his voice is easily buried beneath these 500 different layers of instruments. Like I'm glad you're trying to make that kick hit but I can't hear what you're saying, bro. This track in its total is pretty much just him flexing, you know, doing his thing. And I really like the progression of the instrumental in this one. It actually feels very layered, structured, dense. And the general song structure is really nice here. However, my biggest gripe with this track, aside from that trash intro line, is these pitched up vocals. They sound awful. Like, I'm not against the pitch shifting at all. I do it myself. Other people do it. Everyone does it kind no not everyone does it's not the fact that they're pitched up it's just the way that they're mixed it, it they, they're clipping they, they, they these vocals are clipping against this soft ass smooth ass instrumental and it does not complement it well they don't really ruin the track for me but these vocals sound kind of horrendous and uh, minus five points <laughs> and the track smoothly transitions into zigzag just just scuba and the boys just chilling at target doing their thing despite the full grandiosity of these instrumentals it's not like scuba diver is claiming to be this big flashy dude or anything he's literally talking about the joys of a small town life on here and honestly i can kind of commend that especially considering the fact that I'm currently out in the middle of nowhere and have to drive like 40 minutes to work. The general vibe of this one is nice, the lyrics are okay, the beat is very smooth, airy, and laid back, and the pitched up vocals on this one are actually mixed fine. It, it doesn't work, it, it doesn't really break the song. This song, however, is the biggest example that I was talking about with the vocal mixing where they can be a little buried. It doesn't ruin the track, it's fine. And then after the first half, we get into the second half of this four track EP. And these two are the longest songs of the project. Four minutes and five, four minutes and then four uh, 58. And starting off that second half is Nation, the title track of the project. And honestly, it's pretty good. I think this is the first scuba track that actually, you know, hits for me. Like it's generally a pretty downtrodden song about how things feel like they're not gonna get better. Just the general disparity of the world and yourself and you know, that sort of thing. And the chorus vocals are actually pretty anthemic. This is actually one of the more lush and anthemic songs that he's made thus far. I feel like what he was going for on Godspeed 2 was really cringily executed and not very good in the slides, but I feel like this is uh, that 
but more realized, put to put, put, put to tape in a better way, mixed better, performed better. The chorus vocals here are actually really nice, and the hook melody is almost certainly going to be stuck in your head. In fact, I added this to my likes playlist. It's pr actually a pretty good song. Dare I say the best scuba diver song by, by, a, by, by a large margin. There's this gorgeous string section that comes in halfway through that just helps uplift the chorus even further and helps to propel the song along and not, not, not make it lag in its four minutes that it goes on. And it's not like it's a beat switch or anything. It comes in naturally, helps move along the progression of the song. And yeah, overall, I do think that this song is really good, really solid. However, I cannot say the same for Soprano. For starters, I do like the instrumental somewhat. Like, the horn bass production on this one is really solid, but I, I just feel like it's the way the scuba diver flows over it, and especially the hook. It, it really drags this one down. It's not nearly as bad as anything he's done before, but it's just, this one feels lackluster, especially coming after Nation. It's just kind of a weak way to close off the EP, in my opinion, and one that just really kind of puts kind of a bad taste in your mouth. Kinda, 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 kinda. Stop saying kind. I really like that each of the tracks flow together fluidly so that it helps provide this more linear, more coherent experience. I think Godspeed 2 did that to a degree, but I, I, I don't, I didn't like anything there, so the fuck does that matter? However, when it's something a whole lot more well-crafted and brief like this is, it really does work. Like the very smooth drum break is zigzag that leads directly into Nation. It's these small touches on the project that really help to elevate it above anything else he's done so far. So yeah, overall, aside from a few hiccups here and there, I feel like this is easily Scuba's best project that I've heard so far. If he keeps this up on his next release, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it, but for now, I am feeling like a 5 plus to a 6 minus on this. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Bye. Bye.